Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, freaks and geeks, trolls and derps alike, welcome. I am Mullet Mike with Titty Sprinkles Gaming Network, bringing you Creepy Gaming. I am actually recording this episode of Creepy Gaming from St. Vincent's Hospital, downtown Little Rock, Arkansas. My son, Paxton, was born this week. Proud Papa here, folks. Very, very proud Papa. Uh, sorry for the inactivity, but as you can tell, been kind of busy. But uh, just thought I'd throw this out here real quick. Just going to do like a quick episode today. I'm usually really scripted. Um, uh, you know, I like to script out my videos and stuff. But this one, I'm just going to kind of freestyle it a little bit. Probably do something a little bit more lighthearted, but yet still baby related. So, today we're going to be talking about a creepy Easter egg from Max Payne 3. Alright, I'll give you a quick brief history lesson. I won't get into it too, too much, but Max Payne, the original Max Payne, came out July 23rd, 2001. Awesome game. Awesome, awesome game. Um, it introduced bullet time, which was a really cool element to video games at the time where you could slow down. And kind of see where you wanted to make your shots. It gave you the advantage over the the AI that you'd be playing in the campaign. But overall, it was an awesome game. I have fond memories of the original Max Payne. It was followed up uh, with the sequel, Max Payne 2, the fall of Max Payne. And then just here this last year, May 15th of 2012, this year, they released Max Payne 3. Awesome awesome game guys if y'all haven't played it definitely check it out it's pretty cool this series it's always been pretty dark max Payne's always been a dark it's you know it's like this gritty crime drama detective story the original ones were done in like a comic book style which me being a big comic book fan i really enjoyed that but uh, they've always been really dark but i really wasn't expecting to see this what i'm about to show you is uh from the third level of max Payne 3 in the soccer facility uh, root around there for a little bit you'll find this office or this conference room that has this big screen flat panel television go to the TV and watch it what I'm about to show you is pretty fucked up and out of place it's uh makes up for some really good creepy gaming though so turn the lights down and the volume up as I show you one of the top what the fuck moments of the year Meu amor, minha vida, minha Amélia, meu amor por você cresce a cada dia que essa barriguinha aumenta. Oh, Lourenço Augusto, meu amor, meu amor. Ai, Amélia, quando você fala meu nome assim, eu me derreto de amor. Ah, meu amor, meu amor. Meu Deus, Marina. Lourenço Augusto. Não posso mais viver mentindo pra gente mesmo. Lourenço Augusto, quem é essa biscate? Eu me entrego todo pro amor dela. Me entrego pra Marina, ela é minha vida. O corpinho dela é um violão e desculpa, Amélia, mas eu caí no encanto dela, eu amo ela e não mais você. É verdade, esse corpinho lindo, cheio de curvas, tá esperando por ele. E outra, eu não sou caída, flácida e cheia de celulite que nem você, sua biscate. O que foi que você disse, sua Kenga? Você não é uma dama. Sou sim. Sou uma dama na cama com seu marido, uma meretriz. Sua vagabunda! Eu vou acabar com você! Ah! Morre, sua vaca! Au! Não, não! Separa, não! Solta! Não! Perua! Ai! Puta! Ai! 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 Eu vou dar a luz, eu vou dar a luz! Meu nenê, Lourenço! Lourenço Augusto, meu nenê! Ai, meu Deus! Ih, Pupu! Esse ainda é meu filho! Meu Deus! Meu nenê é um curupira! So yeah, sleep well tonight.
Playing Max Payne 3, I never really felt like I'd be running into some red-headed demon with backward legs. Not once, no. No, sir. Not at all. Didn't expect that. But actually, the fact that people call it a demon baby is actually a really big misconception. Because, uh, really, since the game take most of the game takes place in, you know, Sao Paulo, Brazil, what you're seeing on this really awesome soap opera they decided to throw in there is a, and I've, God, I'm probably going to mispronounce this, Curipira? Curupira? Here, I'll, put, I'll throw it up on the screen. Basically, uh, this is, it's a mythological creature from Brazilian folklore. So, I mean, it, you know, it's a nice little tie in there, I thought. Uh, it's supposed to be some, have bright red hair and resembles like a dwarf and his feet are turned backwards, so... I don't know about you, but that's a pretty positive idea on the suspect there. Pretty creepy stuff, I thought. Pretty twisted. And, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things in video games that make you feel really just ugh, uneasy, you know? But anyways, I wanted to thank each and every one of you. Uh, y'all have been great. Y'all have uh, got some really, like, loyal subscribers, and y'all, you guys are awesome. Um... You know, I said before in a couple episodes, and I said earlier in this one, my son's born. And, yeah, you know, I'm just going to have to get into a routine. But uh, when I don't worry, there is, uh, I'm loving this series. This series has been so much fun to do. There's so much just twisted stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. So don't worry about that. Um, sorry this episode wasn't as long as the others or, you know probably as in-depth as the others but i still hope you like it nonetheless i'll uh probably end up going back to viewer suggestions next week so got something for you there and uh yeah man just thanks again for all the support y'all been awesome this has been a long long week and uh i don't know it's just been really nice checking in on youtube and seeing a few of y'all respond with some it's pretty cool feedback so thanks again thanks for watching <laughs>